Hey guys, it's Kim. Hope everyone's doing good today. Um, if I keep looking to my side, it's because I'm also taping this in Zoom. Um, so today I just wanted to talk about a couple things. Um, while all of you were doing the nutrition challenge, I was doing a challenge of my own, which was um, eating more whole foods instead of processed foods. Um, so why did I do that? Well, um, I was happy with my performance performance in the gym. I mean, I always felt good. I had the energy to do the workouts. Um, what I wasn't happy about was with how I looked in regards to being bloated and having inflammation and then um, how I felt. Um, and I'll get into some of that as I talk here. So um, one thing I noticed instantly when I switched um, was that I had to eat more foods um, due to the lower macro content of the fats, um, sorry, of carbs, um, and then fats too. I had a hard time at first getting my fats in. Um, it definitely, whole foods um, helped me stay fuller longer, um, and focusing on those whole foods uh, reduced my sugar cravings. So I used to drink two pops, two Diet Cokes, cans of Diet Coke a day, um, and I did give that up and I still have given that up as of today. Um, so the one thing is you do get fiber from natural foods and fiber helps us with our metabolic health and it also helps us stay fuller longer. Um, so I mentioned the sugar cravings and my sugar cravings were definitely reduced with whole foods, um, not having pop and um, eating the processed sugars, you know, such as fruit sna snacks, um, gummy bears, those type of things, which I used as my carb crutch. Those are the things I would eat to get my carbs in. So um, why the body absorbs natural sugars and converts whole foods into amino acids and energy better than processed foods, um, which in turn allows our bodies to release different hormones which help us stay satisfied longer. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I don't, or just a minute ago, I don't drink diet pop anymore. Um, and the one thing with diet pop, and I've had lengthy conversations with Amy about this, is that it changes our, our palate. Um, diet pops are so sweet um, that when we have something, a piece of chocolate, um, to replace that diet pop, our palate is different and it, it doesn't, um, satisfy your palate. So then you keep eating more and more um, natural foods, natural sugars that are di digested and absorbed into our body, send signals to our brain saying, I've had enough. I don't need that. Um, I'm full. <clears throat> so it doesn't send the same pleasure signals to the brain. So our brain keeps looking for that sugar that we're not giving it. It wants those natural sugars that are broken down into the nutrients that we need. So um, I mentioned bloating was one thing that I really struggled with before I switched. Um, so, and I paid a lot of attention to what, what made me feel worse in regards to the bloating. Um, and definitely like for many of us, I'm sure alcohol was, is the worst. Um, now I'm not saying I gave up alcohol. I will still have a drink here and there, a couple drinks. Um, you know, I still get together with friends and go out. Um, but I'm guaranteed the next day to feel bloated and icky, um, brain fog, all of those things that alcohol can do to us. Um, I'm not gonna go into a lot on the alcohol, but I will say that our bodies don't process alcohol sugars the same way they do natural sugars that are found in fruits and veggies. And I know Coach Megan is planning on talking more about um, alcohol next week. So we'll learn more about that then. As far as sleep, um, I know with the nutrition challenge, a lot of us experienced some better sleep due to the choices we are making with eating the five servings of fruits and vegetables, our protein intake and all of those. Um, I actually didn't sleep. I got enough sleep prior to this um, and I slept okay, but I definitely could tell a difference with whole or natural or whole foods, sorry. Um, I sleep much better when I get whole foods in and I get my daily movement or exercise in. Um, 
that's due to that the fruits and veggies are natural whole foods have more nutrients and minerals in your body we know absorbs those um, and in turn then it allows your body to produce more serotonin and melatonin to get restful recovery sleep which is what we want every day um, energy i can't say that i was really lacking in energy before i did this change um, i mentioned it earlier I always had enough energy and felt like I could get through the workouts. Before I did the nutrition stuff with Amy, um, when I signed on with her as a client about three years ago, um, I can honestly say that I never, I struggled through workouts to get through. I mean, I was drained where with my nutrition being on, on point and getting my macros, I instantly noticed the energy was there and I was never drained. And now with eating the more whole foods, um, I still have really good energy. I would say I maybe have a little more. And I, I would say that I am not as tanked as I am even before the whole foods, even when I had my nutrition on point. Um, brain fog, I know we hear people talk about this. Um, so brain fog is a real thing. You need to be in tune to your body to know what it is for you. And when you have brain fog, um, so the nutrients and the minerals in our foods help us stay focused mentally um, and sharp throughout the day. So if when you go to work or when you're eating after you eat lunch um, or after you eat breakfast and you're sitting in a meeting, pay attention to how you're feeling on the days that you really give your body a good nutritious breakfast or lunch compared to those days that you're in a hurry and you run through and get a quick hamburger and fries or something like that if you do that. Um, <clears throat> and you will see a difference in your attention. You'll feel sharper after you eat whole foods. Um, you know, typing that email, your words will come to you. Um, I guess I call it absent-mindedness where we all talk about we're going into another room to get something and we forget. I feel like that doesn't happen as much anymore. Um, so those things, it, if you just pay attention to your body, you will see a difference. Um, so just to summarize that um, whole foods, we all know this, they're full of vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients um, that our body needs and it needs to function well and our organs need it, um, our cells need it. Um, we get antioxidants from whole foods which protect our cells against damage um, and healthy cells help us prevent against other health, ri health risks like um, heart disease um healthy fats so avocados nuts some of those help provide energy and they support our cell growth we want to keep making new cells um, they protect our organs um, they also help lower bad cholesterol and raise good cholesterol um, and you will see that in your blood work your doctor when he does a the cholesterol test he can tell you and compare previous test to your current one after you've been doing this for a while. Um, I know that my HDL did go up and my LDL went down. Um, eating more vegetables, so fish, beans, and olive oil, that can help us um, with the aging effects on our skin. So those will help with reducing wrinkles, helps with your skin elasticity, um, and other related skin changes that we have as we get older. Um, so the one thing, fiber, we know that fiber um, is in a lot of our fruits and veggies and the foods that we eat. And fiber absorbs toxins and bad things in our body and helps us um, get rid of them. Um, fiber also helps with our metabolic health and keeps us feeling fuller longer. Um, so the message I have for you is the whole foods um, help you stay fuller longer, feel fuller longer. They do give you energy and they will help you sleep better. Um, the one challenge that I would have for everybody is to really tune into your body and, and what you smell, what you taste, um, how you feel um, when you're eating and after you eat with what you've eaten. Um, you know, take the time to enjoy your foods at a meal so your body is getting those foods and it will tell you when you've had enough, when you're full. If you scarf foods down in 10 minutes, it doesn't give it time to really 
<clears throat> to really get those sensations to our brain in time, which our brain then tells us to stop eating. So when you're eating a meal or eating period, um, you know, take a bite, put your fork down, really focus on what are you tasting? What are you smelling? Um, how are you feeling? And jot those things down and um, reference back to them um, and see in your journal or a journal um, how they really do affect you and how you are helping um, and how they are helping you to stay full and eat, you know, in essence, eat less. Um, like I mentioned, the macros for me, even just Friday, when I plan my day out in the morning, I tend to have 50 macro or 50 carbs and 20 fat that I need to figure in yet after I've got all my protein done. So I don't, um, I'm not a big butter person or, or those type of things. So for me, I don't really care for those, but you know, some dried fruits, if they're organic and they're sulfate free, you know, those are really good to get your carb numbers that you need some nuts, natural nuts, um, unsalted. I eat whole almonds, unsalted, natural, um, really not processed almonds. And then also I buy a mixed nut. That's the same thing. So I would challenge all of you to try to eat more whole foods and see how you feel, see how you sleep and see if it helps you stay fuller longer. So you are eating in essence, less, um, but also foods that will benefit your health in the long run. So that is all I have for today. Um, if you have questions, you can reach out. Thanks, everybody. Have a great Sunday.